Hello, Light Stanza supporters. Today we are going to talk about the power of LSD. And by that I mean a Light Stanza data file, of course. Now you might be a rep agency or manufacturer that runs lighting calculations for your customers. And you're probably saying, we would love to have access to our client's BIM data, but they export that data to a 2D format like CAD and we have to recreate every room and every light fixture from scratch. You're probably saying there has to be a better way. Well, now with Light Stanza, there is. So if you have a customer, like a specifier, that wants you to do calculations for them and they want to share their BIM data with you, you would just send them to our website at lightstanza.com. They're going to go over to Resources, Plugins for Light Stanza, and here they can download our Light Stanza Revit plugin. Once that's downloaded, they just install it. And then once they get into Revit, they will have this Light Stanza tab up here at the top. And the magic button for all this LSD to happen is the Save to Disk button. So once the specifier clicks this, this menu will pop up. They can send you the entire Revit model if they want to. Maybe they only want to send you certain parts of the Revit model, maybe the whole first floor, for example, or maybe there's only a few rooms that they really want to focus in that they want you to calculate. However they want it to work and however much they want to send you, they have complete control over here. So for this demonstration, let's just go ahead and do the entire model. So in addition to spaces, your client also gets to choose what categories from Revit they want to include in this light stanza data file. Maybe you're working on a project that has a lot of cable trays. Maybe it's an industrial project. So maybe they want to share that with you. They can go through and select as little or as much as they want to share, depending on what is pertinent to the calculations that you're running. So we try and provide maximum flexibility there. The more that they export to you, the bigger the file will be, the longer it will take to open. But these are the kind of balances that you'll find. Typically, you'll probably be okay with a minimal amount of spaces or at the very least not having them send you everything. <laughs> so once that's selected, just hit OK. They can exclude or include the light fixtures that are already in the Revit model. Maybe you want them to send you just the building geometry so you can start from scratch. Maybe they already have a basis. Maybe you're doing an alternate package for them and you want to sub out light fixtures. So in that case, you would want them to include that. And then Light Stanza also has the option to auto create grids. It defaults to 30 inches, but you could have them enter any value in here, a custom value. But don't worry, if your client sends the calc grids at the wrong height, they're really easy to change once it gets into Light Stanza. So now that we have all of this set with what we want to share, the whole model with our Revit categories, light fixtures included, let's go ahead and hit Save As. Now, as I'm doing this, Revit is saving this information to a Light Stanza data file. Here it is. So I'll hit save, save it to my desktop. And now that information is saved. The only thing that the client has to do now is share that Light Stanza data file with you. So what does that look like on your end once you receive it? Well, hopefully you're already a Light Stanza customer. So you would just come up to login, sign into your account, I'm going to go to a new design and start a blank canvas. It's bringing me into the program here. I'm just going to go to plan view. And I'm going to go ahead and drag that light stanza data file directly in on this blank canvas. And now light stanza is reading that data file with all of the geometry and light fixtures that the client decided to share with us. And it's important to remember that all of this is happening on the cloud, on Light Stanza's cloud servers. So my computer is not dead in the water while I'm waiting for this. If I wanted to, I could go open a new tab, go back to Light Stanza, open another project that I'm working on by opening it up, going to my folder, finding another project that I was working on, clicking it, and now Light Stanza is opening that. 
So hopefully you see that this provides you a maximum amount of flexibility, right? You're able to get this data, but if you're a rep agency or a manufacturer in an applications division, maybe you've got dozens of jobs coming in, right? And you don't have time to just sit and wait while something imports. Well, with Light Stanza, as I just demonstrated, you could continue to work on other designs or anything else on your computer. You're not dead in the water while this is happening. This is going to take a couple of minutes. That is a decent amount of data <laughs> that we exported from Revit to a Light Stanza data file. And Light Stanza is doing its magic right now. It's saying, okay, what is all this 3D geometry? I'm pulling all of that in. Where are all the light, fact light fixtures? What are the Revit families associated with that? It's pulling all of that information in. And now you can see we have that info. It has come into Light Stanza via the magic of the LSD file. And now I don't have to recreate anything. I've got my calc grids, I've got my light fixtures. You'll see this warning label here. This is just saying that there isn't an IES file associated with this light fixture. If I select it, over here it says no IES file. If I pick that, I can upload one off my desktop or from anywhere else, or you can build an IES file library for fixtures that you commonly use. For this demo, I'll just pick one on my desktop. And now you can see that that IES file is assigned to those light fixtures. So if there were IES files assigned to these in Revit, they would have come into Light Stanza. So if you were being asked to do an alternate package, these fixtures are going to come in with a competitor's IES files. To swap them out, it's as easy as selecting a fixture and doing the process that I just did. So if I go to this next fixture, there's no IES file associated with it. I would pick one or assign one from my library again. I'll use the same IES file. You wouldn't do that. But just to give you an idea of how simple it is to pull this information in, start assigning your products to it, and start running with it. So hopefully with this demonstration, you've seen the benefits in this. And if I wanted to start running calculations, I can right click, crop to this space. That's going to temporarily hide all of those other light fixtures and all of that other building geometry. So I can start running calculations just on this room. So if I come up to calculate, I'll run a normal power calc. I'll even add an emergency fixture next to this door. We'll make you emergency. I'll come up here, run another grid illuminance for emergency. I'm even going to click in this space and right click, do view this location in 3D, and I can start calcing my renderings now. We can do illuminance rendering and an illuminance rendering. And you can see that all of these calculations are running at the same time because they are being run on our calc servers. I'm not dead in the water. I could create a copy of this design if I wanted to and be working on another layout or applying other IES files to this. So hopefully you can see the benefits of just being able to get 3D geometry and light fixtures directly from your client immediately start working on the work, and hopefully you'll see how this can turn your calculations around so much faster, allowing you to do more work and reach more of your customers, while also being able to provide them with a higher quality product because you have all of this detailed 3D BIM geometry. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at lightstanza.com. We would love to set you up with a demo and explore the possibilities with us.